man, and I got my sex and pants and everything. I know, I know you got your, your hopes up for some sex tonight, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Not for oh, don't say names. You're not recording. I am recording. You motherfucker. <laughs> This is my Let's Play intro. Do do do. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Senua's Sacrifice. Oh. I'm your host Daniel. With me, as always, is Matthew. Hello. Hello. Matthew. How are you doing on this fine rainy evening? It's hell, Daniel. Oh. So, All right, so yeah, wait a minute. I was okay, gonna... wait. X is back here. Speaking of hell, going back to SNL. No, anyway. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm just I'm confused because okay, so apparently X is. Oh, ha 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 ha. Okay, I X found it. X is in the sky. X I is found... in the sky. Wait, no. I think you have to go up. I I do have to go up. I do have to go up. Okay. And then the X gets more. Yeah. Because because when I went up the stairs, it suddenly went S, not X, S. Maybe you need S's too. But I'm not. You need all the S's you can get. Why do I not remember where this S is? One of them is hanging. I know, I yeah. Too sure. bad that doesn't count as an X. Uh, the actual X on the wall? Nah. Fuck it. Oh, 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 there it is. Gotcha. Bam. Yes. Done. Did it. Good. But I think the X is, yeah, you gotta climb up that thing over there. No, no, no. Other way. No, I know. I was just looking out the window. I'm allowed to do that, you know. Oh, all right. Sorry. I can look out windows, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, fish. Fish. No time for X's. We have fish. There's a fish. I found a fish. So I guess it's not gonna there's, be the there's X. There's an X on the fish? Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. That's weird. So... I X think I need to get higher. X fish. For the, for the X part. You gotta get out there. Do I? I don't know. Is that more story? Maybe. Yeah, that's more story. That's a talky rune. Talky rune. You like talky runes. In the time of the time that there was some time that there was time. Hella possesses large. Back in the time of time. Alheim. Tall are her walls. High are her gates. And her men. They're so The high. name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed. I think I know it. I know. I found it. Her bed hangings are called of a funeral pyre. There it is. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black and half the color of flesh. And her face. Oh man. Menacing and grim. I am reminded of a terrible, terrible joke. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I should say it. I feel I feel bad. I, I don't know if I should say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I like my women like I like my coffee. Bitter and half white. <laughs> oh. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, that was pretty bad. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. I like inappropriate humor, that's me. I like I like funny like what what is funny to me is when people are um the gate is opening when people feel that oh goddamn who is it it's coming that song again is it is it is it it's hella yes the source of the darkness it's coming this is your moment Oh, yeah, I remember this. I'm sorry. I couldn't watch this. Some of those voices you might bow out. You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness! Fight yes, it! Get up. Get up. Get up and fight!
stormy seas and lost soul. Hmm. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? As stupid as you do. Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. It's not who I am. <gasps> What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. <laughs> Broken <laughs> and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Just come on. There. <laughs> <laughs> Why go on when you give everything in place to that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. You know, I I crack jokes, we crack jokes, but this game is really good. I mean, not just in gameplay, but in uh, acting and directing and um, and uh, I mean, it just all of it just really appeals to me. And Matthew is pointing. Matthew, what are you? No, I'm at? just pointing. I don't know if there's anything along the shore. Oh, the rooms, um, or... I. I think there was, wasn't there? Yeah, there was like, there was like stuff on the shore. There was lore down here. Yeah. yeah. No, you don't have to point. If you, if you see something, you can say something. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> if you see something, say something. And if you hear something, well, you should probably stop saying something because you're going to talk Because you can hear, yeah. <laughs> stop saying something so we can hear something. Okay. So there's nothing on the shore. Um, all right, all right, fine. There it is. is he practicing Tai Chi? <laughs> oh, wait, no. Okay, he's swinging a sword. It honestly looked like he was practicing Tai Chi for a second. Yeah, right. 
This part always made me nervous. Uh, well, always. The one time that I've played this previously. It made me nervous because I no longer have a weapon. Well, you could always throw a Dillian's head at people. <laughs> I mean, Wouldn't that be awesome if that was a weapon in a game? Somebody's severed head. In a sack. Just fling it around. Just, yeah, just like, yeah. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Fairly functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in Bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. I just have a look around here. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. Oh. That was her world. Like this one. But yeah, that whole that whole cutscene earlier, I just I had to sit in absolute silence because it was just it really grabbed my attention and would not let go. Yeah, I forgot that it was so. I wouldn't say super jarring, but it was jarring to some extent. What was the her like you know branding her face with a hot? Uh, oh sword. yeah. I'm just I'm just checking over here to see if there's some um, lore, like a lore stone. Uh, and I'm not. Oh, yep. Hey. All right. Not a lore stone, but a mommy face. Hi, mommy. Mommy stone. Selena. Mommy. There will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like. Strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. It does not ask you to swim against it. Uh, and then... One fish, two fish, red fish, One blue fish. fish to you too, woman. And then when you're out there in the ocean swimming around, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Nothing lives here but even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. Oh, the tree. Oh, I remember the tree. There he was. Alone. Nothing lives here except that tree. Yeah, that might live here. It's, it's a plant. Also, there might be fish. So the, I've got a couple of ways to go. I've got a ladder, and I've got the stairs. I want to check the ladder first. Yeah, and I, I could have sworn there were some... Uh, what? There were rooms around here somewhere. Something. I mean, maybe later? And maybe even down here as well. I can't tell what is and is not progress. That's that's the problem that I'm facing right now. You need signs. Yeah. Well, I guess if you go one way and can't go back the others, you're making a sacrifice. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. uh, okay, so there is a story room. Talk you room. The Northmen Talk tell you. of a great hero. His I name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it. But Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Sounds like uh, their own little red wedding there. Actually, it also sounds like uh, Sword and Stone. Oh, yeah. 
I guess that's where they stole it from. Uh, well, I don't know if they stole it so much as... I mean, that's the thing, is if you make anything... I mean, this game, for instance, uh, is taking heavily from... Uh, the Norse. Norse. Norse mythology. And, and I don't and necessarily with, see that as a negative. And people with talking in their heads. Is there a reason for this, or am I just... Uh, maybe to see stuff? I'm going mad. Anyway. Um, but no, I mean, it's... it's uh, I don't think it's a bad thing to take from things like old legends and, and then turn them into your own story. I, I don't see that as like um, as uh, 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 plagiarism or anything like that. It's it's not I mean sometimes it can be you know kind of a cheap way to, uh, to to tie a story together is to you know borrow so heavily from others that you barely have a story of your own. But this this may be riding on the horse of uh, Norse mythology but it's definitely uh, taking its own path with it. So I, I don't, I'm not bothered by that. It would be like, it's the difference between having, um, like having something that, that uh, retells a story, like say West Side Story retells uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, and I'm trying to think of an example that is just a complete rip off. Nothing is coming to mind. But, I mean, but you, you get what I mean, right? You, the idea of something that is an homage or a, uh, you know... So, or, like, Transformers versus Transmorphers. That's yeah, a Okay, <laughs> there you go. Yes, exactly. Where it's like, oh, we can do the robot thing, too. We're, we're going to ride on the coattails of that popularity. But, I mean, but you can have... Is that a talkie stone? It's a talkie stone. You can have, uh, you know, death for Sigmund and his brothers. Transforming robots and it not be transformers and it still be good. Sister. Like she for instance, go for and implores the king to chin them up instead. He agreed. Not for mercy though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Fun. Chained to a tree in the forest that night. A she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Re Her honey really? allergy kicked in and she I died. <laughs> Thus, the tale of honey versus wolves was born. No. I'm sorry. I had, to, I had to interject there. I think you were going no, I, no, I was just trying to think of like... You'll never guess what happens next. Click here to find out. Oh, but it's it's uh, history's first clickbait. <laughs> A UFO comes and takes both the wolf and the... <laughs> my headphones falling out. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it looks like we're just about out of time. All right. Uh, then I guess I'll just hobble my way a little bit further. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, affecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. Oh, another talkie stone. Okay. Actually, it's, they seem to be boards at this point. I was like, oh, well, yeah, but they're still. We'll I mean, I'm calling stones. them talkie stones because the first ones were stone. Yeah, I Whatever. like talkie stones. All right, I'm, we're, we're going to listen to this one and then, we'll, and then we'll call it for now. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he's free. That's some strong teeth. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. Strong bones. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs her. So she sends her sons to her. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So well, that's kind of a dick move. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. 
Oh wait, I'm sorry. I thought she sent the. I, sh I thought she sent them to help him. No, it was um. To kill him. To kill him. Okay, I misunderstood. Well, I mean, my thing is like you were saying before that the strong teeth or whatever to hold on to the tongue. I mean, her strong tongue that wouldn't get ripped. Well, I mean, his bones are shackled, so he just. Yeah. That didn't break his bones. Oh well. All right. Well. We're going to go ahead and call it here as uh, Dillian in the distance uh, dances with his sword. So, Tai Chi. Hi, Dillian. Please join us next time for more Sending the Sacrifice. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.